Hello everyone, this is Sunny Bedi here and I'm back with the first market watch of 2021. It might be cold outside, but you know what's hot? The Toronto real estate market. It's hot, hot, hot. As hot as Tom Brady's seventh Super Bowl win. The market is shown the numbers and let's discuss how January of 2021 fared in the real estate. Let's check the numbers out. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do it and also hit the bell icon. Today we're going to discuss five major components. The first being the total residential transactions. In the January of 2020, we had 4,546 transactions, but in Jan of 2021, we had 6,928 an increase of 52.4%. January is usually a buyer's market. But lot, not many people come to buy the property, but the January of 2021 has become a seller's market. A lot of people competing to get into the property. When we look into the average selling price, in January of 2020, the average selling price was $838,000.87. But when we look at Jan of 2021, an average selling price has been 967,885, which represents an increase of 15.5% in the average selling price. Let's look at the total new listings. In Jan of 2020, there were 7,848 new listings which came on the market. But in Jan of 2021, there are 9,430 new listings which came on the market, which means an increase of 20.2%. Traditionally, January is a buyer's market, but with the increase of the price, a lot of people ready to put properties in the market. An interesting fact is, although the new listings increased by 20%, the active listings are still down. In January last year, 2020, there were 7,772 active listings. But this year, it's down by 4.8%, down to 7,396 active listings in the trend. Because of such a high competition among the buyers, the number of days the property which has been on the market decreased. In Jan of 20, while it took an average of 37 days to sell a property, in Jan of 2021, it came down to 33 days on the market, which represents a decrease of almost 11%, which means the properties are exchanging hand at a much better or a faster pace. Thanks for your feedback on the last video and a lot of you guys requested that you needed data on the different type of the properties and the price. So as per your request, the detached segment, there were 2,766 properties which exchanged the hand and an average price was 1.359, $1,359,000. When we look at semi-detached, there were 506 properties which sold at an average price of $996,000.794. When we look at townhouses, there were 1,124 townhouses which got sold and an average price of $803,000. And we look at condos, 2,471 condos exchanged hands and an average price of $600,830. An interesting phenomenon in the condo market is, when we look at the core downtown or the Toronto, 416 area, the price is down by 8%. Yeah, in the 416 area, the price is down by 8%, but when we look at the condos in the 905 area, although there are Lesser condos in 905 area, but the price increased by 4.8%. So 
So the net price point difference is that the condo is the only segment which showed a decrease of 4.7% in the prices. Now we're going to discuss about the average price per region. As we mentioned, in Toronto Real Estate Board, there were 6,928 properties which got sold at an average of 967,885. Now we're going to break this data and talk about how the properties have fared as per region. The York region led the price point. There were 2,665 properties in York region at an average of 1,168,623, followed by Halton region, in which 637 properties got sold at an average of $1,160,059, followed by Peel region, 1,453 properties at an average of 952,183, followed by Toronto, a lot of activity in Toronto, 2,665 sales at an average of 866,331. But the great thing was the region of Durham. Durham, which in which there were 651 properties which got sold, but astonishing price point. 876,133. One region which has shown maximum increase price point year over year basis is Durham region. While we could get properties in Durham region easily, now the competition among buyers is so high because they're moving out of Toronto and getting properties over there. Hope you enjoyed the Market Watch report for January of 2021. We'll be glad to provide more videos in time to come talking about the real estate market, talking about specifically condos and talking about the market outlook for 2021. So until then, take care. Bye bye. And make sure to follow us on the social media handles. Take care.